We came so far from dreams The path was hard for me They thought we fall, you see Well, look at us now, look at us now We make it high, but we on the scene Yeah, that's a thousand degrees I got a grind for me and my team Yeah, you know we gon' win We see the clouds when we come around You know that I roll with some kids We sit it down, I don't hear a sound But I ain't Tell me who better than we We saw in the places you never could reach When we walk in that spot, don't hear none of you speak Shh, do you want peace or the peace? A king about to put you to sleep Listen, my team is elite You not even qualified to compete He's starving, he barely can eat I guess that's why he always itching for beef So I put him on ice and I told him to chill Close your mouth if you can't pay for the meal Making statements that you know you don't mean Nice guy trying to act like he mean Keep it a buck, keep it a bean Attitudes will put you dudes in a beam Isakai, he don't live in reality Shake back off a cup of fatality Law yeah, how you gon' hate when you mirror us? He think he a star, he ain't serious. X him out, we not on the same frequency. If you broke, you ain't hearing us. Work the screw, anime, that's how I feel, period. We winning, that's making them furious. We make it high when we on the scene, yeah, that's a thousand degrees. I got a grind for me and my team, yeah, you know we gon' win. We see the clowns when we come around, you know that I roll with some kids. We sit it down, I don't hear a sound, but I ain't Yo, what it do you guys? It is your boy, Leon Mookie here, back with you with another new part of What If Izuku Had a Digimon. This is part 23, and it's been a while since I last uploaded, and it's good to be back for this series, to be honest. So, what enough reminiscing, let's go through that of a quick recap. In the last part, with two days have now gone by, since the Hero Killer incident, with Izuku and his Digimon continue training, with then having that, having plans for his V-Mon to be an all-rounder Digimon to help him in certain situations, such as mainly rescuing, with the various armor Digi eggs to help V-Mon improve himself. With with Shoto, on the other hand, him and his Digimon were training with one another. Feeling that of inadequate because of him losing to him and his Digimon losing to that of Mass X. Shoto wanted to grow stronger, wanted to improve, and to help his Digimon become even more powerful as well, which allowed them to reach their ultimate level, where Koromon became Flare Mon and Blukomon became Crest Peljermon, which now Ishoto. And his, two and his two Digimon have now become even more stronger. With, with Todoroki and his Digimon, Falcomon, they su their internship has not been too eventful. The reason being is because of Hawks always taking the credit, but not just, long but not just him alone, but alongside his own partner, Kadaseman, as Hawks or Keigo and him are rather really close like brothers given Keigo's past life, it only makes sense. However, because of the actions of Hosu, it seems that villainy may rise in the coming days or so. Also back at UA, Mitsugane began to create that of a folder, a fo basically a file on all of the students at UA who may have, the poten who may have that of Digimon partners and Nezu confirming the fact that he will create that of a new special class for these tamers in once the internships come to an end. So, with all that said, let's get into this, shall we guys? It's the final day of internships, and we finally reach where Izuku, alongside his Digimon, all, all, all well typed up into that of his Digivice, as he's basically waiting on the bus with then as Miss Mitsugane alongside that of her well maid worker who basically works at the internet cafe that, the, that she owns with her saying well I did all I can to help you out I can tell your Digimon have grown stronger from the work from the training sessions I make gave them within all of them say thank you and go to hell old lady even Ryudamon who is normally all honorable and respectful couldn't help but get pissed as well. Even that of Galamon, who also tries to respect those in need as well, couldn't help but get pissed at the training that they, uh, he, that he and his fellow Digimon went through. 
except Vimon though. Almost seemed like the kid basically had a good time with then Izuku couldn't help but bow his head saying, thank you for everything you've done. And I also had to thank that of Anjuwamon and, La and Lady Devimon for helping me, helping me back at that of Hosu. If it wasn't for them, I don't know what. With then Miss Mitsugane raising up her hand saying, you don't need to say anything, kid. No, I only wanted them. The only reason I allowed those two to become pro heroes is make, to make it easier on myself. Besides getting a paycheck, at least from that of the, well, government, due to, the, due to making my internet cafe both their, their agency and also another place of work, I also make quite a bit of money from that at the digital arena, too. Within, he's saying, is almost everything you try to do to make money? With then, soon. Izuku saying, wait, I didn't mean that to disrespect, saying, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. Back in that day and age, even for being pro heroes were basically everything. Back, back then, working any other job outside of being a pro hero was asking for you to think that you could be financially stable outside of that. Even an office job, which also barely paid anything, was, ba was basically financial hell. Even though the world changed, technology always stayed the same. So, I used my Digimon. It's easy to get a pro hero license and to become, or rather a quirk license in, the, in this di in about that of several years back, to be honest. So I used that of Lady Devimon and Anjuamon to gain a quirk license for me, or rather for each other. So I can base it. So in case I make an agency for them, it would have been easy to make money off of it. Then outside of and in case anything goes bad, I had the internet cafe to, li to lean on to as well. When you're a woman like me who basically lit, who was basically born with nothing outside of te technical skills, in a day and age where being a pro hero and support inventor was, was basically during the golden age, the age when All Might basically debuted, the age where pro heroes were always the standing the tallest and the strongest. And it's all, it's, and then, now with the era of peace, as we like to call it, jobs are a lot more easier for people to access nowadays. I could go back to just going back to being a normal person, but where's the fun in that? I've made all this money now. No need to waste it. And when you're, and also when you're a girl that's also a teenage mom, you gotta make money somehow that isn't, well, illegal. I need to give Shiketchi somewhat of a good life with then hearing that, Izuku realized that what Stain said is true. Also, the same thing about that of Mass X. Not everything in this world is black and white. It's, there's always a touch of gray. There's always things behind the scenes that people don't understand. With then, Izuku nodding saying, I understand. After saying that, the bus soon shows up with then saying, all right, kid, good luck. You're gonna need it if you're gonna be a big chat pro. With then, Izuku saying, thanks, ma'am. With then, soon saying, all right, what was your hero name again, kid? With then, Izuku saying, <laughs> it's Digi Destined. With then, Miss Mitsugane can up and say, <laughs> I figured it's much. Well then, I hope to see Digi Destined make some pretty good headlines in the near future. With that, the suited woman basically walks off alongside that of the cat maid that was by her side as well. With then, Izuku heading back home as he begins his very next day back at UA. Currently at UA, as classes are about to be set, getting settled in and everything, at, currently in Nezu's office, with then saying, it is now official. Your new class has now been prepared. It will be known as an after-school activity for anyone that you see fit to involved. Saying, thank you, sir. As Mitsugane basically grabs the folder before walking off, saying, don't you think you're offering me a little bit more, well, a fr freedom than even that of All Might? With then saying, what do you have, what do you mean? Saying, with then, soon. The digi 
the, di- the digital tamer veteran couldn't help but look back at his boss before saying, you do know that uh, Aizawa, Fizushi, Nemere, and even that of All Might are been, have been suspicious about your special treatment towards me and possibly even Midori as well. I already can tell that, that Shota has basically came to several of the practice sessions I have with Midoriya, Tokuyami, and Todoroki. Sooner or later, once his class becomes a fully official starting today, he's going to be he's going to learn more and more. It's bad enough that you had to tell that you had to that you had that of Midoriya, Tokuyami, and Todoroki to tell their class about their Digimon to make things easier and understand the situation. For us to not tell Aizawa, do you think that was a bad idea or a good call at all? With then soon, Nezu saying, "That's up for you to decide." He may be, he may be my employee, but he's your friend. You have the more. You should be the one to tell him the truth about your quirk, or rather, the lack of a quirk. And it's up to the two of you to rebuild your friendship. With then soon. The, bl- the brunette, ha- the spiky brunette, couldn't help but sigh, saying, "Easier said than done, sir. You, you know us humans, we're co- we're a complex species." Walking out of the principal's office, with then soon, Nancy saying, "All I know, all too well." With then the next couple, currently in class one A, with Kirishima and also that of Saro, couldn't help but laugh at. Bakugo's hairstyle as Bakugo getting annoyed at the two basically laughing at his hair that was basically complete all constantly combed by that of best genus with then soon seeing the situation everyone else in the class couldn't help but want to laugh but not really wanting to get involved in possibly the explosion that the ash and blonde is going to possibly hit them all with as Mina, Suyu, Jiro, alongside Ochako, basically talked about their internships with Ochako having that of an aura of menaceness to her due to her training with that of Gunhead after all. Even Suyu basically nonchalantly basically brushes off the fact that she stopped a drug bust during her internship, to be honest, with then Sato actually bringing the fact saying, but the ones with the biggest internship has to be those three over there. With, the, however, pointing at that of Izuku, Shoto, Ida, and also, however, Tokiyami is also with them too. But Sato didn't notice that the, the well Raven, the Raven Head team, with then soon Momo saying, "Right, you all went. You also faced fought against that of the Hero Killer." With Kirishima saying, "Yeah, I was totally worried for you guys, especially you, Midori, since you sent that message." Within Izuk saying, sorry, it was more of a spare of the moment kind of spare of the moment actually. I wanted to make make sure that I covered all my bases in case anything happened. But I had to thank Black Gatamon and Ryudamon to getting Ida to somewhere safety. Within Ida saying, and for that, I had to thank you again, Midoriya, for helping me. With then soon, Kaminari saying, Yeah, Kamino was wild, but honestly. Do you think what the craziest thing is? The hero killer's origin story. But also, to find out that the guy is also in the hospital as well, before being transported to Tartarus. Midoriya, Todoroki, what the heck did you guys do to the guy alongside Endeavor? With, then, soon, Izuku and Shoto felt a little bit nervous. It was more prevalent on Izuku's face. However, Shoto couldn't help but narrow his eyes, as the both remember Mask X and the vigilante who allowed his Digimon to kill or try to kill Stain. With then soon, Shoto speaking up saying, it's not important actually. The hero killer was quite strong, powerful to be honest. So it only makes sense that, well, things like that have to happen. Some things happen on the field. Right, Midoriya? Within, Ishoto looking at his, well, greenette friend, saying, uh, yeah, things happen. Sometimes it can't be helped what happens on the field. We just have to try our best to make sure that stuff like that doesn't happen. With then soon hearing that, 
the room, the classroom began to get, feel a little bit tense and awkward. With then soon, T- Ida spoke up saying, Kaminari, you asked how the hero killer's origins affected me. I've seen the video. And I'm pretty sure everybody in this room has seen the video w- at least once or twice. Am I right? Within a few, a few people in the classroom couldn't help but nod. Within saying, it's true that what the hero killer did was wrong and his reason... But however, I can understand his reasonings for, for doing it. But even so, it led him astray and it cost him quite a bit of innocent, cost him quite a bit of heroes' lives alongside that of almost close to his own as well. That's why I need to be better. No, shaking his head saying, I have to be better. I have to be somebody that, even though I may not be the class representative, I will still want to give it my all to support my fellow classmates. With then, soon, Izuki saying, That's the spirit, Ida! Give it your all! With then, soon, Kotamon saying, Yeah! That's the spirit, Ida! Show that positivity! As he raised his kendo sword up into the air, with then, soon, everybody in the classroom couldn't help but freak out seeing the kendo looking sor- swordsman Digimon. With then, soon, Ida saying, Kotamon! Saying, right, right, sorry. I was supposed to give out, well, a warning once I come out. My apologies, everyone. To back where you were, with then, reverting back into digital particles, back into Ida's phone. With then, soon, everybody completely, com- utterly dumbfounded. With then, Ida couldn't help but sigh, saying, I guess I should explain things during the Hosu incident as well. With Ida finishing explaining things as classes began once again. With now currently being lunchtime as Izuku sitting with Setsuna as she could help but say, st- st- I still can't believe you got involved with the hero killer. Are you really sure you're okay, Izuku? But then Izuku saying, I'm fine, Setsuna. I really am. It was a harrowing experience, I won't lie, but that's what us heroes do. Our job is to basically be involved in things like this. With then saying, true, but we're still students after all. This is stuff that we should probably do at least in third years or when we graduate. Not at the beginning. First to, first to USJ, now this. It's like you guys in class when I can't help but get involved in things. With then suit, he's saying, it's not like we want to. Saying, oh, I know, I know. That's just the influence from Monoma talking. Sorry about that. As she gives that of a toothy smile. With then, soon, Izuku saying, So, what about your internship? Saying, it was going great, actually. Quite a bit, I learned quite a bit from Majestic, to be fair. He's a pretty down to heart kind of guy. I think I can learn quite a bit more from him once I start another internship, ne- probably next year. That's great. With then, soon, Currently in that of Izuku's Digivice, as Doromon is still basically staying inside of it. Within, Ryudamon saying, Are you still not wanting to spend spend time with that of Lady Setsuna? Within saying, That girl gets in my personal space more than I can count. I am not going to get used to that. Normally, I'm used to people being afraid of me and me tearing and me, me scaring the living shit out of them. Not, not somebody basically not terrified of me and treats me like I'm some kind of adorable little teddy bear. It's uncomfortable as hell. With then soon, Terrier Mind couldn't help but sigh, saying, Oh, grow up. Anyway, I'm going to see about their conversation too. Later, guys. With then soon, Black Godsamon having her paws crossed, saying, <laughs> Just wait. I'll wait until lunch is over. I don't want to spend time with Izuku while she's there. With then soon, Vmon confused saying, "What's wrong with Miss Black Gatamon? Is she is she mad at Miss at Mama Setsuna or Papa maybe?" With then soon, hearing that, everybody couldn't help but look at Vmon with that a fear and that a scared and that a well trepidation. Even that of Ryudamon, who's always more stoic, unless it involves the harming of Izuku, couldn't help but fear for that of the young neutral dragon Digimon. 
with then soon she looks straight at that of Vimon saying, Vimon, you're lucky you're still like that of a little baby. Because if you ever say that again, with then soon I'm bringing out that of her claw her black claws before saying, I'll revert you all back to a Digimon all over again, you hear me? With then soon Vimon couldn't help but go before tears began to come out of his eyes saying, Yes, ma'am. With then Sue, Galmon basically step, stepping between that and Vimon as he looks like he's about to ball his eyes out saying, Black Gatamon, stop. You can't just take out your anger and frustrations for not being with Izuku on Vimon. He's just a kid. You can't blame him. With then soon, Black Gatamon huffing before then sighing, realizing how, what she's doing, saying, ah, Fine. You know what? Fine. Whatever. With still walking off while still inside of the Digivice, within the rest of the other Digimon couldn't help but feel somewhat worried for that of the Dark Beast Digimon. As lunch comes to an end, with now Class 1A's final class finally begins as being Hero Fundamentals. With now, as, they cur as currently Class 1A is at one of the training grounds Currently in one of the, well, one of the, well, f abandoned factory grounds that you would see Ground Zeta within Mitsugane or Control saying, well, good to see that you're all here and doing pretty well for yourselves. Todoroki within looking at Sh Shoto's, at Shoto saying, looks like you improved on the costume. Good work. Not only needs to be functional, it needs to actually look proper proper as well and cut and out of the public as well good to see that you changed it up a bit within Shoto just nodding within saying thank you sir within him looking at Ida I heard about what happened with your costume it's currently being repaired possibly tomorrow you'll be able to wear it just like you did before within Ida saying thank you for the information sir I appreciate it as he bows his head with suit, but then Ida saying, but sir, can I ask why are we doing here? Saying, ah, good question. We're gonna be doing that of rescue drills. And before you all ask, no, we're not gonna be going to the USJ. Not because of security reasons, in case you guys, some of you were wondering, the USJ basically takes part in that of disaster rescue training. This will just be basic rescue training that you would see in anywhere else. Like for example, you read, you see that of a person about to fall or about to hit, cause an accident. You arrive in the situation as soon as you can and protect and protect a civilian before anything bad happens. Simple as that. However, this rescue drill will basically focus more on your mobility and your coordination. You're going to be reaching that of specific locations designated for all of you, depending on the certain platform that you'll be taking. For example, if you're at platform A, you need to reach the destination on where the A platform will be. The same goes for D through E. So you gotta make sure to go there. You'll be, depending on, to make it easier on all of you, your platform, e each location will be designated by that of a glowing light. A will be red, B will be blue, C will be green, D will be yellow, and E will be purple. Simple as that. Depending on fastest time, the person that reaches their location at the fastest time wins. But this isn't about winning or losing. It's about seeing on how good your mobility to reach these locations are. So take this as more of a learning experience on how to improve in your skill in certain skills. Do I make myself clear? If then soon, everybody saying, yes, sir. With then saying, oh yeah. Last remaining thing, no, make sure to keep collateral damage to a minimum. Cost too much collateral. I'll, de I'll deduct points from that of your, from that of your well location area. Even doesn't matter on how fast you are. Do I make myself clear? You're you're trained to be pros, not trying to be some glory hounds. Do got it? With then looking at that Bakugo. As Bakugo basically looks over saying, why the hell are you looking at me for? You know exactly why I'm looking at you, Bakugo. 
All right, here are the ones that would be getting the first exercise with first ones being that just like it would in canon, Izuku, Sero, Mina, Ojiro, and Ida with then everybody soon just watching and seeing on who was gonna make it there first with a few of them also began making bets on who on who's gonna make it there with everybody voting on Sero given his quirk. However, many of them also vote on that of Izuku due to his Digimon, of course. Especially the Digimon that can fly, such as that of, well, Doro Greymon, and also that of Isiai Ryumon. But then you have the ones that are quite agile, like that of, well, Galgermon, after all. But then many of them began to make points that his Digimon are way too big for their own good. Even if they are quick or agile, they also can't cause any collateral damage with Shoto and Tokuyami basically looking at each other, realizing that Izuku might have something up his sleeves, with then putting on his goggles, as then saying, you ready, Vimon? With then soon, Vimon dematerializing from his Digivice goggles, saying, right, Papa, as then soon, Mitsugane screams out, begin, as everybody begins heading to their designated locations, with then soon, Izuku saying, All right, V-Mod, our Digi Armor Energize! Crest of our Digi Egg of Friendship! With then soon, pulling out that Digi Egg of Friendship before then selecting that of Digi Armor Evolution. With then soon, V-Mod jumps up into the air with then turning as he begins to suck in that of the digi egg of friendship with then saying Vimon armor digivolve too as he enters into spear as it almost looks like that of a storm like that of a round storm cloud as lightning bolts begin to crackle all across it before then the storm cloud begins to burst as one leg another leg a tail and then the head themselves as Vimon now looking more quadru quadrupedal actually but that of dark it dark black blackish blue blackish blue armor with that of a v-shaped horn on his on that of his head with then soon saying ranger mine the storm of friendship before releasing a roar similar to that of a thunderstorm even though it's made which caused quite a bit of people in UA to freak out wondering on what the hell is happening. It's the sky is more clear. There shouldn't be a single thunderstorm outside. With then soon, Mitsugane couldn't help but smirk as he couldn't help but say, huh, so that's what he was so that's what he's been training to do. I can tell his Digimon gotten physically and a lot more, well, mentally stronger, possibly from the old lady's training. But to think he was preparing that of a V-Mon to basically take on the aspects of all of the other digi the all the other crest digi eggs. <laughs> I think Midoriya was going for an all-rounder Digimon from the very beginning. Smart. Very smart indeed. With Izuku with then soon Izuku getting on that of Ranger Mont's back, as then saying, reach to that of location A, the one that's basically glowing red. You see it? But then saying, yeah, I see it, Pops. Make sure to get there. However, watch your surroundings and don't cause any collateral damage. But then soon, Rangermon saying, no promises, but I will do my best. Hold on tight. As then, get s stepping from platform to platform, as even that of certain pipes as well, he j Rangermon drums off them like it's like easily not even breaking a sweat or causing any collateral damage at the same time, with everybody completely caught off guard and shocked, except two, with then soon Tokiyami couldn't help but smirk alongside that of Falcomon, with then Falcomon saying, and looks like Midoriya stepping up his game quite a bit, with, new, with more and more Digimon partners by his side, with then soon Blukomon couldn't help but say, Indeed. So that was the reason why he had the he had the V-Mon Digi Egg. Huh. It seems I can still tell it's an adolescence, but even so, with Coronel Mon saying, yeah, 
It looks like he raised it quite well. Don't you think, Shoto? Within, Shoto couldn't help but still smirk, saying, huh, seems so. Midoriya really is ahead of us when it comes to that of being a proper tamer. And sooner or later, he may reach even a higher level as a hero. We all can't, we all can't fall behind, after all. Right? Within, Tokiyami, Falcomon, Blukomon, and Coronomon all couldn't help but say, right. However, a certain ashen Pomeranian, on the other hand, couldn't help but get annoyed at this saying, Another one? A goddamn another one? All this damn time. All this damn time he got another damn one of those stupid Digimon. I always thought it was just as it was a squirk. But now knowing that he's only gotten this far because of damn help, I refuse. I refuse to accept somebody like him to be this strong from, from basically relying on stupid digital pets. No, wait. What if this was a goddamn lie? To find, I mean, Bird Brain and freaking Half and Half have Digimon too. And yet they have their own, si their own variation of quirks. But what if that they have more than that? What if, the, what if those Digimon are their quirks too? What if everybody has a variation quirk? Even that damn, even Glasses has a freaking variation quirk of the Digimon. What the hell is going on? Why? Why do I feel like this world is basically changing? And why do I feel like I can't even stop it if I want to? With Bakugo gritting his teeth even more and glaring death at Izuku and Rangermon. As for Control, on the other hand, he sees the Ashen Blonde before thinking, another jealous person of a Digimon. I gotta keep, I better tell Aizawa to keep an eye on Bakugo. Sooner or later, that kid is going to snap. And I won't be responsible if he does. That's Aizawa's problem, or rather Shota's problem. With then soon, Pyodramon speaking up saying, Maybe you should basically continue to push things off of Sh to Shoto instead. Within, within soon, Sylphimon saying, I think it's best if you try to repair your friendship. Best step to doing that is going to see Shirakumo back in Tartarus. Hearing the words from his partners with Mitsugane, he couldn't help but think, <laughs> that's great and all, but just as I told Nezu, when it comes to the human heart, it's easy to say otherwise. And don't forget, I'm the one that blamed him for Shirakumo's death. I'm the one that ruined our friendship, not the other way around. Then when I told him that we can get him back, I still haven't done anything to help. It's just hard to confront those who you feel like you've wronged, even though you want to make things right. With then, Hearing the words from their tamer, they all couldn't help but agree. Within soon, Izuku and Rangermon getting closer and closer to their spot with barely any collateral damage. As then, soon reaching the lights, as then, Rangermon steps on one loose pipe. Within soon, Izuku saying, uh oh. As Rangermon begins to fall, before then soon, Rangermon screams out, Electric Thunder! With then soon turning into that of a living lightning bolt. As then basically rocketing through that of many of the destro many of the pipes and buildings before landing on the ground on all fours before continue running. As Izuku felt like his eyes were basically turning into swirls saying that was rough. With then saying sorry pops. I should have kept my foot. I should have made sure on where I was footing. Within soon, arriving at his location, as seeing the bright red light, they soon step into that of the pad. Within soon, Mitsugane screams out, Midoriya reached his location quick. And he kept collateral damage to a minimum. There was barely any. Besides that last one, but we can basically let that be for now. At least... For, but like I said, for now, try that. Sh that shit won't always slide during a mission, during a rescue op. Got it, Midoriya? You too, Ragermon. Do I make myself clear? 
Within soon, both Ragermon and Izuku couldn't help but shake in that fear, saying, Yes! With then, everybody, as everybody in the class couldn't help but be impressed, except Bakugo, of course, as everybody else begins to take their spots as well. However, for Tokiyami using that of Pekmon, it was a lot more easier than it would have with just using Dark Shadow alone. However, with the help of Dark Shadow, they did reach that of certain platforms that would have been harder for Pekmon. For Shoto, he decided to just use that of Firemon instead, given that the guy, the, the lion does have wings, so of course, he can fly. In Koronomon's words, work smarter, not harder, given that this lying Digimon is not as smart as he thinks he likes to think he is. With then, class has finally come to an end. But then Mitsugani saying, this is good work, everybody. Well, I will say, some of you do need to work on your own ability and be able to reach certain locations like this. You can't always rely on brute force or power alone to help you in, situation, in situations when reaching a location quick enough to save lives. As for I meant for that of collateral damage, on the other hand, certain collateral... When you try, you when you don't worry about your surroundings and only focus on getting to a certain location and trying to be there and be there first, you're cert destroy you can destroy a location that normally would cause more and more problems, especially for those who had to rebuild the area as well, and it would also cause more problems for those you're trying to save too. So, so like I said, keep working on your mobility, continue to improve in your speed and tactics, and. Remember, not everything is a goddamn competition, even though our current society wants to make you believe it is. Now, get going. And prepare for... And I hope you all have a good day. Hello, for, for some of you, at least. With then, soon, some of them can help but feel worried. But then saying, Midoriya, Tokoyami, Todoroki, and Ida, you'll be... The principal wants you to meet at classroom in classroom D4 after school is over by at least that of 3.30. Any later, it will be punishment. Do I make myself clear, everyone? You three, you four? Within suit, Izuku, Ida, alongside Shoto and Tokiyami can help but say, yes, sir. Good, now get going and change out your costumes. After saying that, he soon basically reverts into that of Data before re heading back into UA. With then, soon, Midor Izuku saying, what is all this about? With then, Iz Ochako saying, hey, Deku, Ida, you guys, have you guys did something wrong? I mean, they did say that you, that you're okay with the whole, with the whole host, what happened at Hosu after all. With then, soon, Neta basically making a, a comment saying, Probably because I want to basically chew you guys out for what you guys done. I guess the tongue lashing from pros weren't enough for these guys with them soon. Karin and I can help but speak up and, and tell his friend saying, dude, not cool, man. With them soon. Jiro basically saying, that's kind of stupid after all. I mean, Tokiyami wasn't even there. So why would he be called in with then soon? Mina saying, oh yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Mineta, within, Mineta is saying, oh, at least let me have a little bit of fun. With then, soon, Izuku, not cu somewhat curious, alongside the rest of them, as they began to change out of their uniforms. However, Mineta soon saw that of the peep, that of the peephole, as he soon mentioned it to that of both Izuku and also and Todoroki as well. As they, as they they and their Digimon were about to get ready to leave, however, soon Ida wanted to demean Mineta's actions for peeping on the girls. With then Mineta not even caring, as he's about as he basically makes tons of remarks and comments on that other girls, before then getting jabbed in the eye by Jiro's earphone jack, freaking out Izuku at least a little bit. With then, however, let's just say punishment was was deemed necessary. With that, with the four boys of class 1A, they soon arrived to that of class D3, with then wondering why they'd be in that of a, well, bit a general studies course class. As they reached it, they soon noticed that a certain other familiar face is there, as it being Shoji, with then soon, 
Sho Everybody's confused, saying, Shoji, what are you doing here? With Vin soon saying, I was called before you get when you guys left early. Turns out I was called too by Mr. Mitsugane to come here. Turns out he meant to bring me too, but didn't think much about it. With then sued, Tokiomi saying, This is quite interesting. First us tamers, and now somebody who isn't a tamer. With then soon, Shoji basically flinched at that before looking down, saying, Not necessarily. With then, all four of them could not be confused by what he said by that. As they soon enter the room, they soon notice that of several other figures. Some that they know all too all too well. As one of them being Monoma, the other being Shinso, a girl a, another girl from class 1B who has that who has that of bod cup hair and is pretty short as their hair as her hairstyle basically covers her eyes actually. As this being Kimori, but then seeing that of another a face that none of them know all to all either, as they ha as it being another female student, quite well, well, well endowed to be honest, almost to the pretty close to the same level as Momo's, with her, as she has that of dark, dark black hair, with that of eye, with that of long eyelashes, and having that of per having that of red lipstick on her, as her hair is basically all the goes all the way down to that of her back to her lower back actually as she's currently in one of the chairs not even phased by all of them being here or rather not even bothering even speaking to them but then Monoma saying ha, well what do we have here it seems that we have that of quite a bit of class 1a doing being here as well what to come to steal the spotlight from those of class 1b too with then soon Komori saying Monoma Stop trying to antagonize them. This isn't the sports festival anymore. With then Su, Shinso couldn't help but sigh, saying, He's been like this the whole time. First he was bragging that him and Komori were the only ones from Class 1A being here until now. With then soon the other girl the other girl not even paying attention to any of them. As she just ba as she's basically just on her phone, not even paying any mind to those who just entered. Within suit, he's saying, So, uh, you guys were called here too by Mr. Mitsugane? Within suit, Mi Monoma saying, huh, I was wondering why the combat teacher basically wants, wants us to be here. It was possibly that he wants us to prove that we from Class 1B are better. Within suit, the door sliding open saying, No, far from that, Monoma. I think you need to stop with that goddamn inferiority complex you got. It's not going to help in this class. With then Sud hearing that, basically hearing his teacher basically call him out on that. With then hearing that of the first year combat and teacher, with then the female student that w wasn't paying on the teacher saying, Ah, Mr. Mitsugane, so I, w I came here just on time as you said you wanted me to. Did it, do I gain anything from it? Saying, you can listen, for example. Saying yes, sir, with then soon everybody completely caught off guard by the girl who didn't even well pay them any mind or attention. Now acting quite like that of the typical schoolgirl that they ex that people expected her to be. With then soon meets kind of saying, "All right, looks like you're all here. Good. Now I can basically get down to business." With then soon Monoma saying. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Control, but could you explain on why that we are all here, especially with this Class 1A? Dude, what did I tell you? Your inferiority complex is not involved. Do I make myself clear? So make, so answer your question without insulting those from your, from your sister class. Got it? With the... As the middle-aged man giving that of Monoma a tense glare within Monoma actually now, well, calming him, basically now having that fear before saying, um, can we ask why are we here with that of class 1A? Within soon, Mitsugane can help but sigh saying, look, we're, you're all here because you all have one thing in common. One thing in common that some of you either, either, well, show with that of no. No regards whatsoever. Some of you that basically either hide 
or some of you that feel like they like you like you feel embarrassed by them. And that is you're all Digimon tamers with thin hearing that soon Shinso couldn't help but have his eyes widening with thin soon Komori couldn't help but feel a little bit nervous. As for the girl from before, she couldn't help but have that of a having that of a somewhat satisfying smirk on her. Within, as for Shoji, he had his head down with then soon Monoma saying, uh, preposterous, like those things from the di- from the, like the Digimon game, Digimon farming game, for example. <laughs> I think that you've I think you've basically within soon Pyodramon alongside that of Sil- uh, Sylphimon and Dino Bimon come out as the classroom is pr- as since the classroom barely has any well desk in it there's kind of well quite a bit of room for the three ultimate DNA ultimate level Digimon to be in within soon Pyodramon saying He's not joking, kid. He can tell on who has Digimon and who doesn't. From a simple software in his Digivice glasses. But then Sylphimon saying, you all have the potential. Midoriya was the one who basically opened the door for those who here to allow those with Digimon to basically come out. It's because with then soon, Dino Bimon saying, if you feel if you feel like your Digimon are nothing but imaginary friends or you feel embarrassed by them, or you don't feel like you need their help in your dream of becoming a hero. You are sorely mistaken in this time and age. Within, everybody in the room couldn't help but feel a little bit intense before Mitsugane speak up saying, thanks for your words, guys. So, all everyone else here, you all have Digimon, and I know you do. Izuku Midoriya, Shoto Todoroki, Fumakage Tokuyami, I- Tenya Ida, Mizo Shoji, Ki- Kanako Komori, Nato Monoma, Hitoshi Shinso, Mitsuru Inoue. I would like to welcome you all to Class DT, or rather, the Digimon Taming Class. And I'll let you know if none of you refuse to have that of a strong bond with your Digimon. I'm going to make sure that your life at UA becomes a living hell. If you're in my class or not, do I make myself clear? Because this, because now, because this day and age, whatever you all want is not important. It's what, it's the, it's what the world needs that's important. Do, and I hope you're prepared to live up to that expectations. As he says this, with that of a feral grin, as a few people in the room can help but feel somewhat nervous in what's to come. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Let's read them. So, how did you guys like this? Still kept things close to canon as always. With Izuku not, well, flunking out of the, pro- of the obstacle course race like he did in canon when he first used full cow after all. And now we have the special class that Mitsugane has been preparing since the internship. That being Class DT or, Dig- or Digimon Taming Class. So, and now you now know who the other tamers in UA can be. So oh, if you guys like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to keep to date my videos when I upload the channel. Also, please check out my Discord, my gaming channel, my side channel, my other channel, my Patreon, and my Cash App. All link in the description below. So, with all that said, this is Leo Muki, signing out. Later, guys, and hope you all take care. Do your thing, Shiro. Hi, everyone. This is White Fox. If you liked Leon's video, click the video on the left to see the most recent one. And if you want to see more of this, click the subscribe button and notification bell and check out his playlist. If you still haven't subscribed, do so in the center. With that said, I hope to see you again on my love's channel. Bye!